Welcome to day four of Hot Rod Drag Week here at Milan Dragway in, uh, I guess, Milan, Michigan. Um, I did the math. Tony, Angel, and I have slept 11 hours so far this week, and it's uh, it's catching up with us. A little slow this morning. I think I got Terminator eyeball going on over here. Uh, so what's happened? Well, we had a big wheelie on Tuesday, which bent the steering. We were able to make another run. It sucked. We ran like a 937 or something. So we fell out of first place. Um, we left the track at five o'clock Tuesday, went to Jake Sanders' place, Snake Enterprises, fixed the steering, tried to fix an engine misfire, failed miserably, drove back to Indy to the drag strip, borrowed some smart coils from John Enns and Dave Schroeder, who at that point were out. Um, Robin Lawrence tried to help us with the misfiring, didn't get it licked, left Indy, at 11.30 at night, Tuesday night. And um, I think we hit the first checkpoint at three in the morning because our water pump, it's electric, was rotating but real slow. So we basically drove 235 degree water temp the whole night because it's a Mazir water pump for a big block Mopar. You're not finding that at three in the morning. And um, we stopped for two hours to sleep because we were gonna crash the car. And then we drove straight to the track and we got there at 11 a.m. yesterday. Um, I guess, I never saw it, but I heard there was fog and I heard somebody made that happen for me, which, thank you, appreciate that, because we were so late, dude. Uh, and we ran an 887 with the clutch slipping, um, got the car back in the lanes before time ran out. That's very clear, because it's, it's important, because people were saying I was getting favoritism yesterday because I was the last car to run, and that's not true. I was in the lanes well before time ran out. We crawled under the car to tighten two bolts and wipe some oil off of it. Then we made our last pass, which was an 870. So yeah, it's uh, Thursday. Uh, our deal's an utter shit show. It's, it's misfiring again. It's no longer overheating, but uh, we, gotta, we gotta fix a misfire and uh, we need to go two tenths quicker than Wayne Baker because uh, I think we're a tenth behind him. And as you guys know, it's this is the fourth day. The further you go, the harder it is to lower your average. You got to run a bigger number. Um, and we have not gone two tenths quicker would be an 850. I run an 850 in five years in this car, so it's an uphill battle. Um, but uh, I'm excited to try it. You know, we'll have good weather. It's a great track and uh, a lot of cool people here. So let's go. <laughs> If you don't have a gasser, you know what? You got a chance. The giveaway gasser. Big block 427 with a blower on it. Get over the website, every dollar you spend gets you an entry for it. Hey, if you go buy the magazine, that gets you entries for it. If you subscribe to the magazine, you get a shitload of entries for it.
especially for just track. You know, it's always one of those questions like going from day to day to day, the track changes totally different. Um, so we kind of just made a estimated guess. We ran when it was still a little bit foggy. So, you know, we just didn't really know what to expect, but car was happy, uh, made some changes in the tune that are just, we're trying to like creep up on it. You know, we're trying not to like just swing for the fences and just lay down some kind of crazy number. Cause I don't have data on that. You know, I don't know what it's going to do. So we're just looking at the data and picking points in it where we're like, Oh, that could have a little bit more that could have a little bit more and you know slowly creeping up so right now um brian goldstone yesterday i he, i saw that he torched ahead bad uh which they got it repaired very impressive because that's a that's hard to do with look like the damage that they had um they're not here yet though and their run yesterday closed our gap by quite a bit um so i mean they still have a chance you know and anything could happen to us um but right now he's still not here at the event um so you know he's gonna have to roll in and, and make a pass so it's pretty cool we got a pretty good race going on right now between myself brian and the so boss nova down there um so it's nice to see that there's some there's a tight race here so uh, i think that's what they say that's a drag race you know we're not necessarily racing heads up but we're racing our time so we're gonna see how it goes and uh, like i said i'm gonna try not to think about it too much we're gonna keep running our race and making our 55 happy and keeping it alive and that's the goal here because it's not over till it's over <laughs> les smith from kinderville indiana this is my 2011 camaro that uh we've built it's pretty fresh at this point um i bought it as a total car out of the salvage yard actually um the whole the whole front end was ripped off of it when they loaded it on my trailer with, with a forklift uh it's got a now us 12 speed and custom build a chassis for me it's got a steve morris twin turbo 540 in it rpm transmission yesterday we went 683 207 um they had a really nicely prepped track at uh, 131 yesterday um, we struggled at indy the day before so it's been a week of ups and downs i guess so far so the car drives on the highway remarkably well um, it runs nice and cool the guys inside don't run nice and cool it's got to be 130 degrees in there <laughs> quite amazing you didn't just dip into the sixes there you like rocketed in there yeah yeah and very similar tune-up setup on uh Monday at Columbus and for whatever reason about 400 feet out the car turned sideways in the track at Columbus and then we kind of lost lost track of where we were I guess I don't know but we tried again and it was uh, still not great I think we run a set I turned a 725 725 in I think like 194 or 5 in um, but just just struggled a little bit so hopefully today we can uh, more of what we did yesterday. Uh, the car's still brand new. I think yesterday was like pass number 15 or 16 on the car. So um, there's a whole lot of learning that we need to do with it yet. same tune-up and shock setting and everything as yesterday and it did not like it obviously um, so we come back and change the shocks took a bunch of power out of it on the hit uh, went out and I still pedaled it um, it just it wasn't happy I pedaled it and actually grabbed a hold and went down the track so thank God for small things you know small victories so yeah that's the most mile an hour I've ever run at 210 you know, I assume it, the torque converter coupled a little better since we had power out of it and such. So good enough, we'll get out of here for the day. This is just a next yeah. level race operation here, Chuck. Yeah. Well, not only that, but it wasn't as foggy when we got here, but now it's really setting in and 
still a lot of water on the car, so we definitely don't want to have an issue with uh, dropping moisture on the ground, especially either going down track or back and back up. So making sure it's as dry as possible. We also, yesterday, we dropped a, a decent amount of sand when we took off, so blowing out all the rockers, the door jams, and you know a lot of stuff you pick up on the drive. So just trying to make it as good as possible. That's why we brought the, uh, the little leaf blower. It does that really well. How was day three for you, Steve? That was the roughest day of the three so far, that's for sure. But it was uh, human error on two runs. So, actually three. The last one we were okay, but uh, I guess I was tired, so I don't know. <laughs> um, we'll do better today, that's all I can say. <laughs> and what final number did you finish up with? Uh, seven flat, 198, so, which is okay. Like two tenths off where you want to be? Uh, at least, yeah. <laughs> at least. Yeah, we were hoping to pick up a little bit here. We'll uh, just uh, play it by ear.
again. In my freaking nightmare. <laughs> Pulling the head off to them boards. So if y'all want to come down and watch, come on down. And we think it has a hole in the piston. Or valves. We don't know. Until you pull the head off. Or just put some JB weld on it. All good. Right?
pictures of the head but it burnt uh, literally burnt a quarter size hole through the top of the chamber didn't hurt the valves or anything or they should I guess it would be the bottom of it right through the front of the head I mean you could have fit a quarter in it it was so big of a hole and um, Brian luckily you know I, I got with the best crew guy you know I mean he he's got everything to do everything himself at his house and it was an hour ride and it the only thing I regret is giving other racers that needed shit that knew my number, his number, because then he's stopping and buying parts at his shop and having them open up special just for them, you know? And I'm like, I was there waiting for him to get back. I'm so fucking bored. I cleaned up everything. I put it into street mode. I wiped down the car. You know, I was washing wheels and I was like, and I, have, I don't think I've wiped down my car in a drag week. And I can't even remember the last time. So yeah, just to stay awake. And then I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get an hour of sleep. And I late, got in the passenger seat, kicked back, started watching videos, and I just couldn't fall asleep. So yeah, so here we are. We get this thing done. We're gonna go up and look at the track, and I don't know. Brian wants to. He he likes to swing for the fences and just fucking you know put the nails right in the coffin of everybody you know right away, but. I told him, look at it. If you just, you have to get me to the half track. If I can get to half track under full power, it'll run a 680 or so. That'll keep me in the lead. You know, I mean, he knows this track better than anybody because he runs a pro mod here. You know, on their fast nights. So we'll see. That's all we can do is go up and see and hope we can get down on the one pass. I mean, if I rattle the tires, I'm just gonna drive it right back up in the lanes and get another one. So. but it looks like you're gonna yeah. go again oh hell yes just gonna point it a little bit right and then um, send it because it, it had the wheels up and I couldn't steer and it took me to the center line so so yeah we're gonna hit it again you know I'm not a quitter I mean I could you know if you guys want I could leave it for the drama of tomorrow if you want or I could just go and like seal the deal right now so but we're gonna give it one more seal the deal try you know to run a 7-Eleven at 100 and what well, I don't know what 170 something miles an hour yeah I mean I went, it, it took me right to the center line and and I had I couldn't steer and then I, I tried to steer it back a little bit and hit it again and I was in the shit over there in the middle of the lane and ended up lifting the tires again so yeah so I figured out oh, what is hurry up back and get her back up there so yeah 54 at I think it went 219 but I was off at the thousand foot block because I'm, I'm tired and I, I I, I, I kind of saw the finish line, but I saw the block and I was like, just waiting for something bad to happen. I didn't want it to happen. So I ended up throwing the chutes early and it, it wasn't really that threw the chutes early. I let off the throttle early. So it scrubbed about seven, eight miles an hour, probably a couple hundreds, you know. Well, we still got to make the drive and put a number down tomorrow. And hey, I am testimony that bad shit can happen on the last day. I mean, I finished on my roof and didn't get a time the last time I, I probably got a 20. So. It took me out of second place overall and first in the class and 
put me on a year long rebuilding trip. So, you know, anything could happen and I don't count shit until it's, it's happened. But tomorrow we're gonna go out, we're gonna try to make a good first run because that's usually the best time of the day to make a good run. We're not gonna probably put it on kill the first run, but we're gonna put it on a, this was, we put this one on like a, one our, our mid forties tune up and it would have probably run a 49 or 51, somewhere around there. So we're gonna probably do the same thing tomorrow if the track's decent. And then I'm gonna come right back, cool the fucker down, and we're gonna we're gonna make another lick. And we're gonna make another lick all day long until we get a 30 out of it because the car's done for the year and there's really no point. I got, I'm taking the engine out when I get home anyway because I'm sure I heard it a little bit with all the shit went on yesterday. Maybe not, maybe, but honestly, I don't like this engine. It's pissed me off and I got a better one at home. But if I run a 30, I might change my mind. So, you know, I, it, my mind changes all the time. But last night I hated this engine. Best checkpoint we can get, an ice cream place. Uh, Mega Moo. What flavor? Hot fudge. <gasps> Chocolate. Vanilla. Peanut butter. Uh, we're going strawberry shake. Banana split flurry. Put everything from a banana split and just throw it in a blender. Uh, Oreo flurry. Reese's. Uh, cups. A blueberry pie. All the Mint chocolate chip. Red raspberry. Pineapple. Are you weird? I am weird. <laughs> <laughs> I brought a Viper engine powered vehicle to a Dragon Drive. Of course I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> we are very close at this point to the, the next track, final track, which means after... Thank you, Dennis. 